Cheers, good to see you. What a treat. What I'd really like to talk to you about is this city that we love. You know, the interesting thing about Sydney for me is I have had a love affair with it since I can remember. I am the same. It's this vibration that Sydney has that nowhere else in the world for me has, and I travel broadly. Nowhere has this feeling of completeness the way that Sydney does. The romance actually holds true, doesn't it? I mean, the reason we're here is to talk about how restaurants, how it affects our culture, and what it means to the city. These guys with Bodega, I mean, going there and, and feeling part of it straight away and feeling like there was something exciting. And it sort of changed the city in some ways. So it's a, a small bun, a rib cap sandwich, it's been slow cooked. You know, it absolutely did. I remember I went along to opening night and there was this electricity to it, this vibe, and that's what they give you. They give you this sense of warmth, this sense of inclusiveness, this sense of feeling like you belong. Wow, okay, now we're we're food talking. Did that transfer to other places? Yeah, I believe it did. Elvis now also has Continental Delicatessen mm. in Newtown. A super fun, tiny, tiny, squishy little venue. Get a can hat and a can everything. And so if you, you come into Sydney and you're thinking about where to eat, mm. let's let's talk. Let's all talk right, about. all right, all right. Now that is a big list. We've you got all the time in the world. You made like, me shake it down. down. Okay, and fine. And talk, 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 talk. One of the places I really love to talk about is uh, Cantina OK, a tiny, perfectly formed tequila and mezcal bar. And they've got uh, a hand-cranked ice machine to make perfect margaritas. And it's just the most friendly place you can go. What makes it so good? Oh, well, literally, like, what? <laughs> what else do you like? OK, Esther. Yeah. Now, Esther... Why is it so important, Esther? Oh, God. It's a great place to work. Esther is one of the most important restaurants there is in Sydney. Uh, the chef Matt Lindsay. I don't even know how to explain his food because it's well, all... Well, it's your job, come on. I've never seen anyone cook the way that he cooks. Fratelli Paradiso is an oldie, but a goodie. Dark, it's moody. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like and you always bump into someone you know, or... Yeah. And then maybe you turn around and you are that grey-haired person that people remember. <laughs> In your case. <laughs> station is a cracker. It's all, as you might guess, Sri Lankan food. And one of the funnest things to do in Sydney is to get a bunch of mates together, book out a table and have crab curry sundae. A crab curry sundae. Yeah. So we're watching everyone crab here for Tanya. What would you have here? The Brussels sprouts are fantastic. I love the Brussels sprouts. Mum used to boil them and I hated them. And then here, roast them. Oh, okay. I've always yeah. loved the way that Every single suburb of Sydney, north, south, east, west, and the middle, has just this entirely different flavour. That, to me, is what I love about it. 